Hello Power Apps Maker, this is Ahmed Saleh again and today we are talking about the Power Platform cards. The cards that we have in Power Platform which you can use in Microsoft Teams to capture data and to show some information for your Teams members either in private channels or general channels or you know direct chat. Uh, how we can do this so we have actually the cards where we can start creating new card uh, by giving a card name and a description if needed and once you do that you can go ahead and create create that card what I have here I have a card this card here we're gonna go start and edit this card and as you can see here uh, this is the card that we have and I will play the card for you to show exactly what this card does so in this card we have the first message that we show for the uh, member or for the user is hello and the name of the user then the user can actually see their current shift that they have in a dataverse table so their current shift selection for example for that uh, user Ahmed Saleh is hybrid and it's a, asking a question do you want to change it so they can select from this drop down and they can actually change that uh, selection uh, or shift selection and then they can select also when that change should start so we're going to start in July 1st and then they can hit change and once they do that it will take them back to a confirmation page or screen where it says that the shift has changed successfully the shift has changed to on site and the change will start on July 1st and you can hit again OK and that will take you to that screen what I can do I can actually click on send copy the URL for this card and then send this URL to any members in my organization in Microsoft Teams now going back to this card again and see in the designer mode this is where we actually design these cards and you can see you have multiple uh, controls that you can work with as display controls you have input controls uh, you also have layout controls as well uh, what we have here uh, in our design we have two screens the first screen is the main screen and then I have the shift change screen which is my confirmation screen in my main screen as you can see I have a label this is just a text label I have also another label and then I have a drop down and then I have another label and then I have a date picker and last thing I have is a button in our first label here you can see that we are using just a regular formula is hello and then we have the user function dot name and this is will show you whoever is accessing this card it will be uh, retrieved their names and show the name in this first text label right here in the second label what I have here I have a text your current shift selection and then I have a lookup function to retrieve back the shift of the logged in user and I'm using the full name which is a column in my table in Dataverse called employee shifts the full name equal the user dot name and then I'm retrieving back the shift value which in this case hybrid on site or remote and then after that just a text and you can use concatenate function as well so let's go back to our uh, table and take a look on this table so I'm gonna go to my tables and then I will go to my custom tables and I will look for my employee shifts and let's see this table here and as you can see we have the shifts we have the full name of the employee and then we have the change start date as you can see it here so this is a dataverse table and this is the table that I have added right here to add data to a cart you click on add data and you can only add data from Microsoft Dataverse so I'm gonna select Microsoft Dataverse and once this populate it will show me the Microsoft Dataverse in my environment so I will select this and then click OK and here 
you can see all the tables that are available in this environment and from here I went ahead and I selected the shift table as you can see here and this is how I added this and here we just using this lookup function right here the next thing that we have is we have the drop down control that we have added from our drop down controls as input and this is where we have the drop down right here you do not have a combo box in the Microsoft cards in power platform so we added the drop down and to be able to add items it's not like the canvas app you have the items property you do not have this property here but to do this you will have to edit the JSON code of your screen right here so if I I click on this JSON here you can see and I click edit I can actually see this is the JSON of the whole cart of the full cart so if I scroll down you can see that the object types so I have the type which is the input that choice set the name or the ID is choice set one and if you actually check on this click here you can see this is the drop down name which is choice set one and once I get to this I can see that the choices I have which is this array right here I have three choices and you can add other choice so if like say we want to add another choice I will just copy the curly brackets add a comma and paste the curly brackets and let's say that we have another choice we will call it travel and then let's call this here as well travel so the title and the value both of them are travel the title it's basically what you can show in the drop down and the value is the value that you can use as the value to patch back to the database for example if we say here like for example remote selection so we can actually say selection add the word selection to all of them as part of the title for these choices and we keep the value as it is and this is how we added the items to the combo box or sorry to the drop down now I hit save and if we come here this is our, our combo box or our drop down now we can check so I'm gonna go ahead and play or to save save and play and this one play the mode for us the play mode for us so I'm gonna select here as you can see this is the title it's remote selection hyper selection on-site selection and travel selection right and then the next thing that we have is the select the date so what I have here I just added a date picker control and it's from the input controls as well it's right here and then once I added that date picker there is nothing that we can do here or we need to do here we're gonna go and add another button and it's also gonna be under the input controls in the cards for power platform then I drag it and drop the button and it will be added here in the bottom of my cart what I have here in this button the code or the formula that I have here as you can see it's a very simple formula so let's just open this so I'm patching back to the employee table or the employee shifts table I'm looking up the employee that I want to patch the value for which is the lookup or the record that needed so using the lookup function employee shift again the full name of the user equal the user dot name the user dot name function return the office 365 profile username which I'm using it as the full name then I'm updating the shift value based on the choice set drop down selected and when you use this the value is going to be passed or updated is actually the value not the title of the choice then the change start date column in the employee shifts will hold the value of the date picker one you do not need to use or you do not have actually dot selected 
as we have for drop down in canvas app similarly we do not have that selected date when it comes to the date picker so all what you need is just giving the control name in our scenario and that's it so once you do that and you click change you can see that it's going to be patched back to the employee shifts table and then semicolon i have another action which is to navigate to the shift change screen that i have in this card right here in the other screen what i have is i have a confirmation message which is a text label your shift has changed successfully and then i have another text label in this text label i'm also using a formula along with a text value your shift has changed too and then i'm looking up the value that has changed based on the username and bring in the shift again we updated the shift value we did not create a new record in the uh, when we uh, selected the on select or when, when the user click on the change button in addition to that another text and the change will start on again looking up the same record and then we are passing the start date we can also use here the with function so we with the with function we can get the employee shift so we're going to declare a variable here that we hold the record that we are retrieving and then we can just reuse this variable which is a record and then we can do the dot shifts and then the same thing to retrieve the data of the change start date it's going to be the same thing which is change start date and utilizing this we will be able to just basically uh, minimize our code and make it more efficient and instead of creating two calls to the data by using two lookups we are only using one lookup in this case to basically while we are using the WIS function here we're going to select a date 21st change and you can see right here the shift has changed to travel and the change will start on June 21st now as we mentioned we can actually click on send and copy this URL and here I will go to one of my users right here and then I will just send a direct message to this user right here so I can go ahead and select and paste the code you can see that it has been generated this is the card and I can just go ahead and send this card to this user before we do that I want to go and check the data and show you that what we have for this user at this time so we're going to go to back to our table and in this table we have this mrs vance she's on site and the change start on july 5th of 2023 going back to her account in Microsoft team she can act upon this and select remote and change this to be in June 1st and then hit change she will get the confirmation message as you can see here shift has changed to remote and the change will start on June 1st of 2023 going back to our table I'm gonna go hit the refresh to see if the data has been refreshed and as we can see here now we can see that her shift change to remote and the change start date is June 1st 2023 so this is just a basic example for how you can use Microsoft cards power platform cards with your Microsoft teams to send things to uh, capture data for employees in Microsoft teams and then from there employees or any other users and from there you can actually update your database or your dataverse tables and you might have other uh, scenarios or other functionality or other processes that will be triggered from that action i hope that you enjoyed the video if you like it please like subscribe and share this video and i will see you in my next tutorial